All right, hello again. This is Redlink27, and uh, here in front of you <laughs> is uh, or our six Coleman Canada Model 335 lanterns. Uh, this video isn't really going to go into a review of the lantern or anything. Um, just figured I'd point out some subtle differences um, with these between the lantern model throughout the year. Uh, these were produced from 1972 I'm not overly sure but I want to say like 1978 or something like that uh, if I'm incorrect please comment and I will uh, put the the date in an annotation <clears throat> so anyway um what you see here is a November 1970 model this is the oldest 335 I have I also have a uh, a September 1972 model um, that has which is in a much nicer shape than most of these uh, this one here has seen better days <clears throat> but anyway as I said this is a uh, 1970 model now something unique to the 1970 model is this collar style and I apologize for the lighting it's probably not too good right now but I'm going to try to do this so you can see here where it says model and all this info here like globe, mantle, generator and then patented 1969 that's all right to the left of it and uh, you have then 335 4999 G, uh, G3 <clears throat> so this collar style is unique to the 1970 models um, a few 1970 models in early 1970 were, were red this being a November 1970 model, so late November, um, it's green. The red ones are highly sought after because <laughs> they were only made in the early months of 1970. So if you find one, it's considered fairly rare. They go for about, even though I hate to uh, compare prices to, to stuff on eBay, they, they generally go for about 90 to 100 going on up on eBay. And there's the other side of the collar, and um, also you'll notice here that on the glow breast, or the uh, the base of the burner frame assembly, whatever you want to call it, notice how there are no holes next to the uh, the the nut in the middle there. And but what I mean by no holes is you look here at this. Uh, I think this is a. Uh, hold on, what is this? That's a July. 1974 model. It has holes there in the burner frame. Um, but these very old ones, this 1970 doesn't have those. And this 1971 doesn't have them either. So anyway, <clears throat> that was the 1970, uh, 1970 model. So here I'm going to move on to the... Sorry, I'm trying to get it to focus as much as I can there. <clears throat> going to move on to the 1971 model. You can see this one's had better days. Uh, frame rest is very, or sorry, the uh, globe rest is very rusty. It was even more rusty. I put it through a bath of metal rescue, but it was, excuse me, <laughs> it wasn't worth leaving it in there. Coleman decals, uh, pretty rough coming off. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> so already 1971 and I believe this is you know I can't really see the date I, I see a faint 71 that's also November um, that yeah that's also November model but November 1971 man I really wish this thing would focus um, Sorry, I'm not too used to filming with these. Anyway, <clears throat> you can already see here how the collar has changed, and this is only in one year. So you can see that model and all these other words down here have all been moved further to the right, when on the 1970 model they were all to the left. And also one thing I've noticed is that these 1970 models, the collar is much shinier than these other um, later models. And I have other 335s and I've polished the collars. And while they become a bit more shiny than, like, say, that, 
they still don't gain this shine, this uh, amount of shininess, if you want to say that. So, um, I don't know what's up there. Different material, maybe? But yeah, I really like these 1970 models. Um, I mean, they're all really the same lantern, it's just minute differences. So that was the difference between the 1970 and the 1971 model. You'll notice a lot of these don't have mantles or um, globes. It's because I just ordered these. Well, I didn't really order them. But I bought these six from uh, two gentlemen in Ontario. I got two from one guy and four from the other. Uh, and two of them had globes. This one, this 1971, I took the globe off of another 335 I have. And the rest don't have globes yet. <clears throat> so that's... 1970, 1971, and over, you can see here, I think this is a 74 model. Kind of wish I had my 72 model down here. Yeah, so this is a 74, that's a 75, and that's a 77. Uh, interesting thing to note is you'll see it still has a red valve wheel, and um, that may not be original, and I'll show you why in a second. But anyway... Uh, yeah, I wish I had my 72 model here, but you can see that at least as early, or as late as 74, they had introduced the, um, holes there. Uh, I can only assume that that's for extra ventilation. That's what would make the most sense in, in, uh, from my point of view. Uh, 75 model, honestly, um, unchanged from the 74 model. Pretty much, unless there's something I missed. Um, virtually the same lantern. Well, yeah, the exact same lantern, just a different year. <clears throat> now here, I believe this is... No, oh, finger was in the uh, camera there. That's very professional. I believe this is a 1976. Yes, it is. Okay, this is a 1976 model. And you'll notice here that it has the black fuel control knob. Now, all the older ones had a red fuel control knob. Um, so this change occurred either in late 1975 or early 1976. Aside from that, again, exact same lantern, no real noticeable difference. And then finally here, this is the 1977 model, this is the latest one I have. Uh, again, pretty much unchanged with the exception of this red fuel knob and I don't think that that's original um, it should have a black one like that now there is a chance that this was just a leftover part that the Canadian factory had because the Canadian factory was infamous for uh, using up old parts that they had lying around on newer lanterns just to get rid of them and there's a chance that this is factory it's a new old stock factory part really impossible to know because it's exactly the same as this uh, <laughs> this one here the 1975 model that took me a while to find that if it would focus there we go and uh, yeah so I don't know there's a good chance it was that but it's, it's really impossible to tell anyway I wish I had a red 335 here to compare because I'm sure that one has more differences aside from it obviously just being red but, um, yeah. Um, also, another thing to note, 335s from 1970, 1971, I believe up to 1973, originally had a uh, Colex globe, which was made in England for the Canadian factory. Uh, not even my 1972 model has that. It has a made in England globe, but it's just a replacement from the early 70s. It's not a Colex globe. Which is kind of unfortunate. Hopefully, I can find one someday. Those are uh, those globes are getting pretty expensive there. But originally, like this one here, 1970, it would have had the Colex globe. So anyway, thank you. This has been Redlink 27 with uh, minute differences um, on the Coleman Model 335 throughout the years. So thank you for watching and have a good one.